Russia is a country with an ancient and great history. Compared with many other cities of the country, St. Petersburg is very young. It was founded in 1703. However, from the first days of its existence, the city played and still plays an important role in the life of the country. The modern city, covering around 1,500 square kilometers, lies on both banks of the Neva River. For over 300 years, the historical center has not changed much and remains the same harmonious architectural ensemble with its straight orderly streets, old buildings and parks. St. Petersburg is often called the Venice of the North. There are more than 90 rivers and canals in the city with a total length of about 300 kilometers. This is Rossi's pavilion in the Mikhailovsky Garden on the bank of the Moika River. And this is the Field of Mars, a unique memorial park. During the time of Peter I, it was where parades were held. And in 1957, the eternal flame was lit on the field to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the October Revolution. We are flying over Suvorov Square with a monument to the outstanding Russian commander, Alexander Suvorov. The Trinity Bridge is one of the most beautiful in the city. The Peter and Paul Fortress is the real historic heart of the city. The fortress was founded on 27 May 1703, and this date is commonly considered to be the date of the foundation of St. Petersburg. The Peter and Paul Fortress is 122 and a half meters high and before 1952, it was the highest building in Russia. It is a magnificent architectural monument of Petrine Baroque. It also houses the tombs of the Russian emperors. Now, we are getting close to the spit of Vasilyevsky Island where the Neva splits into two streams, the Great Neva on the left and the Little Neva on the right. The embankments of the Great Neva is the best spot to enjoy the show of the drawbridges. In navigation season, sections of the bridge are raised to allow big vessels to pass. Now you can see the Palace Bridge opening. It's an unforgettable experience. Now we see the same bridge, but from the other bank and at dawn. Summer in St. Petersburg is the time of the white nights and the sun rises very early. The famous Senate Square adjoins the Alexander Garden. In 1925, to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Decemberist Revolt, it was renamed Decemberist Square. But in 2008, it got its historical name back. The monumental equestrian statue of the first Russian Emperor, Peter the Great, was erected here in 1782. The statue is made of bronze and is known all over the world as the Bronze Horseman, thanks to the poem of the same name by Pushkin. 
To the right, there is the spit of the Vasilivsky Island you have already seen. And to the left, along the embankment, you can see the Winter Palace, Russia's number one imperial seat. For a long time, it was the residence of Russian czars. Now, it houses the collection of the State Hermitage Museum. It is one of the largest art museums in the world. And the embankment is a favorite spot among the city's residents and tourists to take a walk. You can also see the piers from where you can take boat tours. Another view is like a picture postcard. The St. Isaac's Cathedral, the largest Orthodox church in the city. At 43 meters high, there is a colonnade around the dome and one can climb up there. The spectacular night illumination accentuates the majestic silhouette of the monument of spirituality, history, and architecture. And this is Palace Square adjoining the Hermitage. The bright lights on the facade of the General Staff Building with its triumphal arc and the Alexander Column can be seen well. Let's have a closer look at it. The column is over 47 meters high and made out of a granite monolith. It is the world's tallest monument. It is topped with a statue of an angel with a cross and the pedestal is decorated with bronze bas-reliefs. Look how spacious and elegant Palace Square is. For its beauty, the palace has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. in horse-drawn coaches is a favorite tourist attraction. And here begins an already new chapter in the city's history, the Gazprom Arena, or the Stadium of St. Petersburg on Kristovsky Island. It was opened in 2016 and can accommodate about 60,000 spectators. Not far from it is the Western High Speed Diameter, a highway almost 47 kilometers long. At a distance, you can see the world's northernmost skyscraper, the Lochta Center, at 357 meters tall. We hope you have enjoyed the trip around St. Petersburg as it was in the past and as it is in the present.